All right, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you how to actually bury bone tokens, but first you're probably gonna to have to convert your Shiba to bone or buy bone automatically. We can see I'm in ShibaSwap. When you go to ShibaSwap, make sure it's shibaswap.com. That's the only official site. There are a lot of scam sites out there, so be careful. But when we go to bury, we can see, I think I'm on the wrong chain here, so let me switch this back. Come on, Binance. We're going to actually switch to the ETH network, and we can see that the Bowen APY is 3,477.03%, and I have about $4,000, actually even more now because the price went up from yesterday, in Bowen Buried. That's one thing to note is as the price of these tokens go up, the APY actually tends to go up in my experience so far. But say you're just starting, you don't know what to do, first thing you're going to do is get a MetaMask wallet. Go to the Made the Mask Chrome extension. Go ahead, get this, write down your seed phrase on a piece of paper. What you're then going to do, and what I prefer to do, is go to CoinGecko. Once you're in CoinGecko, you're gonna search for these tokens. First, you're gonna get Shiba, you already have it. You're gonna click here, add to MetaMask. Same thing with the Bone token. So Bone Shiba Swap, click there, you're gonna click add to MetaMask, and you're also gonna get a Ryoshi Vision token if you're staking Shiba. So that's this one, and same thing. And if we go up here, we can see that I have, in my assets, we have the Shib, the Bone, the Ryoshi, and I have some Floki up here. But we have all of these, and make sure you have some ETH in your wallet too, because if you don't have ETH, you're gonna need it to pay these gas fees, so you need to have some ETH in your wallet. Not this much, I paid about $30 in gas fees yesterday, but what you would do, and what I did, is I made sure I had Sheeb and um, <clears throat> in this wallet first. That's the best way to do this. Once you have the Sheeb in this wallet, you're gonna connect your wallet up here. My wallet's connected. And then what you're gonna do is go to swap, swap tokens, and you're gonna swap from Sheeb, if, if you wanna bury the bone for the higher percentage, to the bone token. Swap there, that's gonna go through. If you look at my transactions, that's what I did. That's the easiest way to swap in my opinion. And then what I did is I went to stake, I went to bury bone. Once you're here, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to, it's gonna say, um, <clears throat> excuse me, available. You're gonna click turn on contract, that's gonna go through. Then there's a second step where you come back and it's gonna say how much you wanna stake. You click 100% then you click stake. And so you're gonna see a two-step process. Once your tokens are buried up here, that means that you have successfully completed the process. As you can see, I've buried Sheeb and Bone, and we can see total buried here for Sheeb, and total buried Bone for the way I just showed you there. And just make sure that when you're doing this, that you do do the two-step process, and when you're done, you do see that everything's buried. Now, I preferred using MetaMask for this because it's easier. You can use Trust Wallet and other platforms, but I originally actually sent my Shiba here from crypto.com, and to do that, you just get this address here, Make sure you set a small amount first, as always, to test. But if we go into the activity, we can see everything we did for the bone spend, the swap tokens, everything I just went through. I didn't record it as I was doing that, but this is what you would do. There's other things here like the Shiboshis. You can provide liquidity. You can claim your re rewards. Now, I just staked mine yesterday, but rewards will show up here. And there is a disclaimer that I believe I'll show you here that just says that you can only withdraw 33% per week. The rest will be locked up for six months. Just make sure you're aware of that. But to sum it up, this is how you go to Sheba Swap, convert your Sheba to Bone, and stake your Bone tokens. Or if you don't want to do that, just bury. I don't own any Leash tokens right now, but that will probably take off in the future if you want to get some Leash because the Leash also has a high APY. All right, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. Thank you.